Yes, sir. No. So you is it zooming is okay or you need to zoom for that? So slide zoom is required because it would be better. Is it visible? Is it yes, working? Sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where all this? All the died? All the attending in online? Achha. When I started in 1999, at that time, very first batch, I have more than 50 people. But after 25 years, I'm facing this many people. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so where we stopped? Not there, okay. <laughs> so where I stopped last class? Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Number of what days? So are we done that? Where is the last line we done? Okay, we stopped up to there. Yes. Quick summary what I murdered so far. Then we will continue our today's class. Ready? <clears throat> yes. How can you decide one particular year as an ordinary year or leap year? First to check whether it is a century year or not a century year. If it is not a century year, then only you can apply four rule. Understand? If it is, if last two digits are exactly divided by four, then the entire number is divided by four. All right, remember that? Okay. Right. If it is not a century year, then you can check by four. If, the, if it is exactly divided by four leap year, not exactly divided by four ordinary year. If it is a century year, you can apply 400 rule. If it is exactly, if the year is exactly divided by 400, leap year, if the given year is not exactly divided by 400, it is said to be ordinary year. We shifted from Julian to Gregorian in 16th century. Question will ask from 17th century onwards. Okay, but you know why, why not? We are expecting every fourth year is leap year, not always. Are you remember that? What is the minimum number of years without leap year? Three year, minimum number. Because in number system and permutation combination, many times they, they will use the word minimum maximum. Are you understood this was? We will see later on. Okay. So what is the maximum number of years without leap year? Seven years. You know already. Understood this was? Then odd days. What is odd days? Number of days more than seven or number of odd days more than multiple of seven are called odd days. All are understand this? So if it is if it is in terms of days. Divided by 7, whatever the remainder that is your odd days. Okay, boss. So why divided by 7? Why 7? Because in actual calendar, week, how many days are there? If, okay, if you divided by 7, what is the maximum reminder you can create? Maximum reminder? 6 only. Odd days is always from where to where only? 0 to 6 generally. Are you understand? If it is more than 6, again divided by 7, convert into 0 to 6. If it is less than zero, what does that mean? I will teach you today. Are you understand? If you write the word odd days, that numerical value must be zero to six only. All right, understand? If it is in days, you know how to derive the odd days. If it is in weeks, how can you derive the odd days? First, convert weeks into days. I mean, finish that or not? So, for, first, convert weeks into days, then divided by seven, then reminder is your odd day. All right, remember that? So, we stopped up to there. Totally silent, everybody. Now we will do today. Don't do. For example, 10 days. How can you convert this into odd days? Directly divided by 7. Okay, first. That means what is the reminder? 3 odd. If it is 10 weeks are there, can I divide directly by 7? No. What I will do? 10 into 7. How many days? That must be multiple of 7. Divided by 7. Reminder has to be what? 0. Are you understand this, boss? If it is in days, you know how to derive the odd days. If it is in weeks, you know how to derive the odd days. If it in terms of month, how can you derive the odd days? After one and a half hour, I will teach you. 
if it is in years how to derive the odd days i will teach you after one hour after that are you understood this boy some more concept will come then i will come back and teach you here in some other batch i thought now here itself somebody not convinced so that is why i will teach you after i am finishing something then i will come back here i will teach are you understand this clear understand okay boss sir why we have to derive the odd days you will ask like that understood this boss listen carefully for example today is monday after 100 days what is the day okay boss if i solve like this today is monday plus 100 days i can get the answer so today is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you like that if you count 100 days tomorrow i will get the answer are you understood or not understood what i am saying now listen carefully 100 days i am converting into weeks okay boss in a week how many days are there so divided by 7 1 times 7 34 times 14 complete weeks what is the reminder two odd days one week how many odd days zero odd days 14 weeks how many odd days zero odd days plus this two odd days total how many odd days so 100 days is synonymous to two odd days are you understood this boss now 100 days is synonymous to how many odd days two odd remove 100 write two odd days monday Plus two odd day, you will get that. Are you understood this part? So Monday plus why plus because after two odd days I will get that. Are you understand? What is the answer? I will tell you. So far, if I am solving Monday plus hundred days, easy to calculate. Or Monday plus two odd days is easy to calculate. Monday plus hundred is easier. Monday plus two is easier. For simplifying the calculation, we have to derive the odd days. Understood or not? Understood? in this topic you must derive the odd days 99 percent percent to simplify the calculation are you understood sir, please repeat uh, anji please repeat sir am i going fast mm. right uh, so madam ji where is your doubt sir in converting 100 days 14 weeks right okay listen boss danger people in my class so 100 days Divided by seven, one times seven, balance three. This zero comes fourteen. That is twenty-eight. That means remainder is two. This is called weeks. This remainder is called odd days. Are you understood, Madam Ji? Madam Ji. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. <laughs> one week is zero odd days. Fourteen weeks is zero odd days. Understood, boss. Then two odd days zero plus two two odd days so hundred days is synonymous to two odd days understood madam ji yes sir right okay so I am removing hundred days right to two odd days so Monday plus two odd days I am going to get the answer are you understand this boss listen my language Monday plus two means somebody may ask sir including Monday why excluding Monday why you will ask like that no I will ask. Sir, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday is the answer, ah? Ah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday is the answer. You're totally silent. Eh? Are you understood or not understand it? To avoid that type of confusion, what you have to do? Yesterday I told you, Monday means one odd day, Tuesday means two odd day, Wednesday means three odd day. Are you remember all these things? That means Monday means one odd day. One plus two, how much? Three odd days means what is a day? that is the answer if you convert that into number you will not face the difficulty of including excluding are you understood or not understood it's totally silent eh? all are understood this why we are deriving odd days sir we sir, have to pass, we the, we have to pass we the time to so derive the odd days sir why we have to derive the odd days sir to simplify the calculation yes online people somebody say, saying something sir video got stuck can you please repeat video got stuck yes sir i think i think pakistan doing something in my class So what I said, Madam Ji, Monday plus two odd days means including two days. Monday plus two days. So I have to count to two days, starting from Monday, wa, or not starting from Monday, wa. This doubt you will get it. 
that is why i said uh, yesterday class i told you one odd day means monday two odd day means tuesday three odd days means wednesday like that i wrote are you remember madam ji yes sir oh right okay so monday means one odd day one plus two three odd days means wednesday are you understood or not understood yes sir right okay anybody doubt so far sir still not satisfied sir attention my language today is uh, Thursday. Thursday means how many odd days? Four odd days. After hundred days. Now I'm after that I will change the value. So don't worry. What is the day? Hundred days is synonyms to how many odd days? Two odd days. You know previous slide. Plus two or minus two. Why? Because of the word after. If the statement use the word hundred days before, so minus two you have to use it. Are you understand this, boss? So now plus two. So four plus two, how much? Six odd days means what is the day? Saturday is the answer. Are you understood or not understood? All are understood what I am saying. Get out of silent. Eh? Understood this? Right? No, somebody crying. Listen, boss. For example, if today is a Friday. Friday means how many odd days? Five odd days. And the question says, after, 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 uh, thirty-two days. What is the day? Do you understand this? Thirty-two means how many odd days? Four odd days, you know. Plus four, ah, minus four, ah. Plus four. Okay, ah, boss. So plus four. What you will get? Five plus four. Nine odd days. Odd days never be more than seven. Means I will hang in every fan. Ah, yes, sir. Yesterday I told you. Are you understood this part? So odd days never be more than six. Okay, it is more than six. What I will do? Leave the question. No, again divided by seven. What is the reminder? That means nine odd day is synonyms to two odd day. Means what is the day? Are you understood or not understood? All are understood what I am saying? Get totally silent. Eh? Are you crying, anybody? Uh, are you understand? You you are first day today class, right? Okay. Next lesson, Kathy. For example, today is Wednesday. Wednesday means how many odd day? Three odd day. Now, hundred days before, what was the day? Hundred days is synonyms to how many odd days? Two a day, you know, plus two a minus two a. Why? Before. So hundred days before, what was the day? Okay, was. So how much? Minus two. Three minus two. One means what is the day? All are understood and not understood. Online people. Sometimes if any day if, if you feel I am going faster, so stop me immediately. Okay, was. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Anji. Uh, sir, if negative value comes, then wait. Uh, you are going next next stage of me. Listen, boss. I will not leave the loophole. For example, today is Monday. Monday means how many odd days? One odd day. Listen, boss. Sixty-six days before. What was the day? That is asked in the question. So sixty-six days is synonyms to how many odd days? In sixty-six, how many odd days? Sir? Divided by seven, eh? Arey yar, na three odd day. Understood this? Plus three, yeah, minus three, yeah. So mine. All are understood, not understood this three. How three? Sixty-six divided by seven. Reminder is three. Understood this part? So minus three. So one minus three, how much? Eh? One minus three. Minus two. I told you odd days must be zero to six only. It will never be less than zero. If it is less than zero, you have to convert into zero to six. Are you understand this? So how can I convert zero in zero to six? In a week, how many days are there? Seven days. So seven minus two, five odd days. Are you understood or not? Minus two odd day is synonyms to plus five odd day. Sir, what is this? You will ask like that. I will ask. Listen. In a week, how many days are there? So previously, how many odd days you got? In negative. 
minus 2. Minus means you have to go from the end, bottom. So from here, 7 minus 2, what you will get? 5. So that means I am here. So from bottom, this is in minus 2 means from the top, it is in plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. That's plus 5. Are you understood or not? Yeah, totally silent. Eh? Minus 2 odd day is synonyms to how many odd days? Eh? 5 odd days. Are you understand? Not understand. No need of writing this and you can think like that. Listen carefully. Minus 1 odd day. So reminder is a negative. I have to convert into positive. So 7 minus 1 how much? Eh? 6 odd. Are you understand this boss? A total silent. Eh? Five odd days. It is a positive, positive or negative reminder? Positive. What is a negative reminder? Seven minus five. Minus two. Is. Are you understood this one? Because from here five means from here two. A totally silent. Eh? So now you know how to write a positive reminder, negative reminder. Are you understood or not understand this boss? For example, minus four odd day. So what is the positive reminder? I will jump from the building. Anji, what is the positive reminder? Three. Are you understood or not understood? Are you understand that? Are you use the seven, seven minus four, three? Are you understood this boss? Right. right. So now, uh, minus six, uh, sorry, plus six, uh, achha, hang over here. Plus three odd days. What is the negative reminder? Minus four. That's, are you understood or not understood? This? So, depends upon the situation, you can use positive reminder or you can use negative Sir, is there anything? Here, here. That's right. Yes. Understood or not understood? Online people, am I audible? Online people? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Yes, sir. Now you understand. Somebody asking if it is negative. All are understood this or not? All are understood this? All are understood this? Anybody doubt so far? One more example I will write. For example, today is a Tuesday. Tuesday means how many odd days? Tuesday means two odd days. Okay, boss. Seventy-seven days before. What was the day? Tell me answer. Tuesday is the answer. Why? 77 means how many odd days? Zero odd day. What is meaning of zero? It is exactly divided by seven. There is no left out. That means uh, plus zero or minus zero, it becomes what? Uh, so same Tuesday is the answer. Are you understood or not understood? Now you tell me the answer. I will not say the answer. Today is Tuesday. 82 days before or ago, what was the day? Are in this time I will go to I will go to America, I will come back. Are you are desert people? First day, first day. So 82 days means how many odd days? Five odd days plus five or minus five? Minus five. Two minus five, how much? Huh? 2 minus 5. Minus 3. Are you understood or not understood? So now, uh, my, what? not minus 3. Minus 3 odd days. If I am using the word odd days means I have to write 0 to 6 only. I have to convert this into positive reminder. So what is the positive reminder of this? 4 odd days means what is the day? That is the answer. Are you understood or not understood? All are understood. Online people understood? Online people boss, anybody doubt? Any amadhi? Totally silent, eh? Understood no, or not sir. understood? Eh? All right, okay. Now listen. Now you understand what is the necessity to derive the odd days. One more thing is there. Listen, guys. For example, today is Monday. Oh. So today is Monday. Sir, why always Monday? For me, on Monday, somebody will ask. So today is Wednesday. Okay, boss. After uh, four days, what is the day? Don't solve the question. Because I have to show something different. Today is a Wednesday. 
what is the day on fourth day ah what is the day in four days what is what is the day in four ariyat in four days ah what is fourth day from wednesday are you understand not understand language you see here are you here what is given here so after okay so i am writing here before also okay was here what is given on in from are you understood this boss if the statement use the word after or before how many days is given you are counting four days yeah in four days the reference or starting point is not included that means you have to start counting from next day onwards are you understood not understanding that means in this four days reference or starting point not part of that that means start counting four days thursday friday saturday sunday is the answer are you understood not understand if the statement use the word on in from then you have to start counting from the reference that means what is the reference wednesday thursday friday saturday is the answer are you understood not understood this all are understand this boss now if the question use the word after or before then whatever the numerical value they used here you can use this value for add or subtract depends upon after or before all are understood what i am saying boss but if the statement use the word on in from don't use whatever the numerical value is given subtract one that means you have to use this three odd day for plus or minus understood not understand all are understood this bar all are understand all are understand this that means come to here wednesday means how many odd day three odd day after or before means i have to use this numerical value so plus 4 3 plus 4 how much 7 means how many odd day zero odd days means what is the day that is the answer all are understood not understood this bar come to here so when reference is wednesday on in from is there what is the numerical value i cannot use 4 what i have to use sir 3 that means sir wednesday is 3 3 plus 3 6 odd day means what is the day that is the answer understand not understand in 2023 uh, i apologize for this in 2017 one question they use the word on in 2023 one question they use the word on but all the people answering after this are you understood or not understood all are understood what i am saying anybody doubt so far if the statement use the word after or before you see this is not big big thing but this silly mistake we have to remove this are you understood this word after or before means whatever the numerical value use that numerical value for add or subtract for example here after 100 days understand 100 days is synonyms to how many odd days two that means i have to use two for add or subtract add or subtract depends upon after or before are you understand this boss alarna on 100th day on 100th day 100 day is synonyms to how many odd days can i use two what i have to use one for add or subtract are you understand not understand online people all are understand this online people boss anybody doubt online offline any aam aadmi somebody crying in the class sir okay, acha any problem anybody doubt yes 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 right understood back side All are understood. Boss understood. All are understand. Now you know why we have to derive the odd days. Are you understand? Where to apply and all this thing. Are you understand this, boss? Next very important thing, listen here. I am in 2015. I am going to 2019. Okay, boss. Tell me. Difference between these two years is how many years? Difference is how many years? And the four years. Tell me what are those four years? And the and the two thousand fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. This four year, ah, is this four year? 
ये टोटली साइलेंट है इज दिस फोर इज इज करेक्ट हां जी सर दिस इज रॉन्ग सर सो 2000 वन मिनट आई आई नीड सम स्पेस सर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सर दिस फोर इयर्स सर ही सेइंग एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड सो व्हाट इज दैट फोर इयर्स व्हाट आर दोस फोर इयर्स यू नो व्हाट इज सेइंग है इफ द इफ द स्टेटमेंट इफ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिफरेंस इफ यू आर डिराइविंग द डिफरेंस ऑलवेज इंक्लूड If I include starting point, then you exclude end point. Ah, if I exclude starting point, you must include end point. Both are correct. Are you understood? Not understood. While deriving the difference, if you include the starting point, you must exclude the end point. Ah, if you exclude the starting point, you must include the end point. Are you understood? Not understood. That means here, starting point is already part of that. What is the ending point here? 2019 is not part of that are you understand you are saying this four years are you understood this word here starting point is not a part of that four year ending point is part of that this four years you are saying both are correct are you understood or not while deriving difference if you include starting you must exclude ending or if you exclude starting you must include ending are you understood or not all are understand understand this now next If the statement use the word between, between how many years are there? Andy, sometimes the question use the word are uh, the gap. They will use both the synonyms. Are you understand this, boss? Tell me, between means how many years, sir? What is meaning of between? If the statement use the word between or gap, starting point is not allowed. End point is not allowed. Are you understood or not understood? So tell me, what? How many years are there? How do you calculate it? You manually calculate it, but in number system you cannot calculate like this. Are you understood this part? Listen carefully. Difference how many years? In four years, sir, either starting or ending inside, any one. So subtract one. So difference minus one, I will get the between. Totally silent, eh? Difference is how many year? Four year in four either starting must be there or ending must be there. I don't need starting. I don't need ending. So I have to do minus one only. Why I am not do minus two? Because any one is inside in the difference. Are you understood this bar? That means how many years? Three years. What are those three years? Two thousand sixteen, seventeen, two thousand eighteen. Are you understood or not understood this? All are understand. If the statement use the word. From two thousand fifteen up to two thousand nineteen, how many years difference is? How many years are there? I am not saying difference. From fifteen to nineteen, how many years are there? That means if the statement use the word from to two, you have to include starting point also. You have to include ending point also. Are you understand this part? That means how many years? Tell me how do you derive it? Manually, waste of the time. Difference in difference, anyone is there? But we need starting also ending also. What I have to do? Difference plus one. Are you understood or not understood? That means how many years here? Five years. What are those five years? Two thousand fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Are you understood or not? If the question use the word so difference minus one, what I will get? Between. Are you understood this box? Difference. Plus one. What I will get? From two to all you understood or not understood? All are understand. So only two point is left out. So if month is there, how can you derive the odd days? If years are there, how can you derive the odd days? After one hour, I will teach you. So whatever we taught so far, that is not the calendar. Understood? This all are as a human being. You have to know this thing. Now whatever we are going to teach, you, that is the real calendar. All are ready. So how was the murder now? I find <laughs> yes already right. So in this topic, if you take a calendar question, sir, can I solve the question and get the answer? Ah, ah, 
by seeing the question i can get the answer you will ask like that so by seeing the question when you get the answer if the question comes under generalization then by seeing the question you can get the answer so i am going to teach you if it is ordinary year certain things we can generalize it if it is a leap year certain things we can generalize it if you if you know the generalization some question by seeing this you can get the answer if the if the question not under generalization you have to solve the question and derive the answer all are understood what i am saying what so whatever we can able to generalize that i am going to teach now whatever not able to generalize you will see in the exceptional cases in example all are ready online people anybody doubt so far online boss i told you don't type because my bp sugar damaged my eyes i don't know what writing acha acha right any any doubt in online people any amad me okay boss now first we can see generalization in ordinary year quickly if you know generalization in ordinary year leap year is very easy are you understood this boss listen boss for any ordinary year how many days are there 365 point something leave that day. understood this boss for any ordinary year how many days 365 days so how many weeks and how many odd days are there divided by 7 5 times 35 balance 115 52 complete weeks what is the reminder one odd day all are understood or not understand this hey yeah, totally silent eh? right okay one week is zero odd day 52 weeks how many odd day zero odd day zero plus one total how many odd day that means for any ordinary year there must be one odd day are you understand 2023 odd year all year that means how many odd day one odd day are you understood or not understood are you understand the first generalization in any ordinary year first day of the year and last day of the year must be same day sir what does it mean you will ask like that ordinary we are teaching ordinary year next we will teach separately leap year don't ask about leap year now okay boss now listen if if any ordinary year if first january is tuesday then ordinary year means 31st december is also tuesday understood or not why in second point i will prove it are you understand this boss totally silent eh? all are understand this if your year start on saturday end on saturday that means ordinary year. indirectly we have to do that are you wanna, they will not tell you directly this is ordinary year solve the question no indirectly you have to what derive that also are you understand this if your year start on sunday end on sunday what does it mean ordinary tell sir stop now only you said ordinary year means one not day if your year start on tuesday Plus one, it has to be Wednesday only. Get yeah, totally silent, eh? Sir, why you are saying same? You will ask like that. Attention, now what I am saying. For example, if first January is uh, Wednesday, then thirty first December must be one. What is the difference between these two? These two difference. How many days are difference from here to here? Three, three, three. Louder. Remaining are silent. Three, six. Somebody saying three sixty five days. What is three sixty five days? Including starting, including ending. While deriving difference, anyone must be there. Tell me difference. How many odd days? Three sixty four days, not three sixty five. Are you understood or not understood this part? In three sixty four, how many odd days are there? Divided by seven. Zero odd day. So Wednesday plus zero, same Wednesday is the answer. Are you understood or not understood? It will be silent. All are understand. If your year start on Tuesday, end on Tuesday, what does it mean? Ordinary year. Anybody doubt? Anybody? Any Ahmad? Ah, Nani. What? Aji. So, so in starting from first January, second, third January, fourth like that, up to thirty first December, three sixty five days are. But we have to derive difference. How much? If while deriving the difference, if you include starting, you must exclude ending. 
So in 365 days in one year, starting also there, ending also there, I am removing one day. So the, from here to here, difference is 364 days. So divided by seven, reminder is, that means difference is zero one day. So Wednesday plus zero, same Wednesday is there. That is why if a year start on Wednesday here, end also in what? Wednesday. Are you understand? Allah understood? Yes. Understood? Totally silent, eh? Right, okay. I am assuming. Sir, still I am not convinced. Anybody saying like this? Nobody saying. For a second generalization, listen now carefully. If a year starts on Friday, when that ordinary year will end? Same Friday. Sir, still why? You will ask like that. Attention my line. So, total how many weeks are there? Take the first week. So, it started from where here? Friday. Month started, the year started from Friday here. Example. Now, started from Friday. Take first week. That week started from Friday. When that first week ended? If a week start on Friday, when that week ended, I told you. Are you yesterday I told you. Not told. One, not told you. Achha. If a week start on uh, Wednesday, when that week will end? Week means how many days? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. One day earlier. If a week start on Friday, when that week will end? Thursday. If your week start on Sunday, when that week will end? Saturday. Come to the Forex reserve. Weekly data. And they will say this much reserve in this, 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 this thing up to last Friday. Week ended on Friday. That week started from where? Saturday. That means the Forex data is a seven days data started from Saturday, ended at Friday. Last. Are you understood or not understood? Allah understand. If your week start on Monday, when that week ended? Sunday. Are you understand this bar? Tell me. Week ended where? Thursday. Are you understood or not understood? First week of Friday to Thursday. Second week of Friday to Thursday. Third week of Friday to Thursday. Total how many weeks are there? 52 times of Friday to Thursday. Now I am standing in 52nd week. That is Friday to Thursday. After Thursday, how many extra days are there? After Thursday, what is that one extra day? That is why if a year start on Friday, end on same Friday. Are you understood or not understood? Getting this? All are getting this? All are getting this? Bar. Yes, sir. Right, okay. In one week, how many times Friday? 52 means I will hang in the camera. In one week, Friday comes how many times? Sir? One time. In 52 weeks, sir. 52 times Friday. But here one more time extra Friday. Total how many times Friday? 53 times of Friday in this example. What is Friday in this example? First day of the year or last day of the year? Come to here. Saturday. One week how many times? In 52 weeks. Any extra Saturday here? Total Saturday in this example how many times? 52. Sunday. 52. Because there is no extra here. Whichever extra that only 53 times. Are you understand? Monday how many times? In this year. 52. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 53. Are you, what is Friday in this example? Starting. That means for any ordinary year, first day of the year. Ah, last day of the year. Repeat it for how many times, sir? 53 times in a year. Remaining other day. Repeat it for how many times, sir? 52 times in a year. All are understood. All are understand? If a year start on Tuesday, end on Tuesday, ordinary year, at that time, Tuesday repeated 53 times in that example, remaining other day repeated for 52 times. All are getting this? If a year start on Saturday, end on Saturday, how many times Friday repeated in that year? 52 times. If a year start on Sunday, End on Sunday, how many times Sunday repeated in that year? All are understood this. Online people, any doubt? Anybody died? Online people, boss. All yes, are understood? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Any doubt? Any doubt? Any, anybody? 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 Right. Okay.
which of the entire two months having same calendar within one ordinary year sir listen now carefully which of the entire two months that means in one year take any two months entire means full month you have to say what is called the same calendar day two months you can take it here whatever date here same date whatever the day same day date same day same date same day same for complete month so for in ordinary year which two month having same calendar which two month i am asking month name january and remember very good that is a wrong answer but remember january december why it is wrong i will tell you very good january july second wrong answer i will prove you why it is wrong understood march this one? november august and november very good third wrong answer march november <laughs> march, march november very good next wrong answer i will prove you why july august popular wrong answer next anji june july very good wrong answer any other somebody thinking which month they left so that two months they are saying <laughs> anybody march april acha yes very good wrong answer somebody saying february because of 14th february no it is not like that <laughs> january <laughs> october a uh, very good we will see <laughs> are you ready so it is not we decide which two calendar month are same calendar it having some criteria are you ready boss listen boss the first condition in this difference in odd days of those two month must be zero if you are comparing any two month if you derive the difference in odd days the difference in odd days must be zero first condition sir why only zero why not other number i will tell you are you understand this boss second whichever two month you are comparing they must be equal number of days understood this boss that means number of days of those two month must be equal are you understood or not sir why equal why not unequal i will tell you if you satisfy this two condition entire two month having same calendar are you understood or not understood i will come back after 5 minutes any doubt up to up to here anybody anybody now listen here so give me 1 minute time i will quickly write in 2020 one upsc question asked from this generalization no need of calculation by seeing this you can take that don't think upsc asked i am teaching no cheater upsc copied from me so january 31 so how many odd days three odd days february zero odd march don't think because i am teaching generalization in ordinary year okay boss a very good story here why here also 31 here also 31 and uh, then it was it is waste of time ready now i am going to compare two months okay boss i am randomly choosing any month don't i will choose i will take any two months i will prove you are you understand so listen care now i am going to take april month you understand i am checking april month having same calendar with other month are are you understand this so now first condition difference in odd days must be zero second condition number of days of those two month must be equal 
So now, so see how many odd days are there? Zero odd days are there or not? So two plus three, how many odd days? Five odd days. But I need zero odd days. I cannot stop up to May. Further add, five plus two, seven means how many odd days? Zero odd days. Now I'm getting zero odd days. So stop up to which month? June. Are you understood or not understood this boss? So first condition satisfied. If I am stopping up to June means which two months I am going to compare? April with June. Are you understood or not understood? Sir, why? Why you will ask like that? While deriving difference, if you include starting, you must exclude ending. Are you understand? In this seven odd days, April odd days is already included or not? Yes, starting is included. Ending must be excluded. So wherever you are getting zero odd days, stop up to that. Are you understand this, boss? Totally silent. Eh? So now 2 plus 3, how much? I cannot stop up to here. 5 plus 2, that means 0 odd day. Not only 7 means 0, 14 day, 14 odd day means 0, 21 means 0. I need 0 odd days. So I am getting 0 odd days, I am stopping up to June. If I am stopping up to June means which two months I am going to compare? April with what? July, next month. Are you understood this, boss? All are understand. Because difference is 0 odd day. While deriving difference, if you include starting, you must exclude ending. Are you understood or not understood? Are you understand? So which two months I am comparing? April with first condition already satisfied is zero odd day. Second condition, April how many days? 30 days. July how many days? Number of days are equal. Second condition not satisfied. That means entire April month, entire July month not having the same calendar. Understood, not understood. But compared to April, July having how many extra days? Remove that one extra day. What is left out? 30 days. First 30 days must be same calendar. That means first April to 30th April and first July to 30th July must be same calendar. Because of this one day extra, entire this two month not having the same calendar. Understood? Not understood. Allah understand? No, sir. I am not feeling, sir, what you teach me. Open your tele uh, today they said something. Where they said in Telegram something. You open the telegram something. No, no, I asked you today to share it. Open the telegram, whatever is telegram like a WhatsApp group. Achha, it's like a WhatsApp. Achha, like a Facebook. Okay. So open a, uh, any file they said. Alert that. Alert that. So open that sixth page number six. Page number six. Whatever uh, today file shared in the telegram, please open it, boss. Page number six open. Open. Some calendar I printed. 2014 calendar is there or not? Ordinary era, leap year. Ordinary year, you know already. Compare in 2014, April month with July month. You see that? Up to what day, same calendar. Understood? Up to what date? Up to 30. Because of this one day extra, entire this two months not having same calendar. Understood and not understood. All are understood. Don't write it. I will dictate this point. Whatever it is. Are you understand this one? Concentrate and ask why, why now. Understood this? Any doubt? Anybody? Anybody? Keep that page. Listen the book. Attention everybody. Now, I am going to September month with some other month. Tell me where I have to stop. Sir, wherever you like, you stop. Not like this. Tell me where I have to stop. November. Why? Zero odd days. If I am stopping up to November means which two months I am going to compare. September with December. Tell me which condition satisfied already. First condition. What is second condition? Number of days of those two months must be equal. Understand? September how many days? 30. December how many days? Is second condition satisfied? No. That means entire two months not having same calendar. But up to how many days same calendar? 30 days. You see that? See September and December. Allah understood or not understood what I am saying. Allah understand. Now listen carefully. I am going to compare March month with some other month. March. Tell me where, which month I have to stop. 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 What? One minute, one minute. Stop. 
what some student uh, already assumed is three three months we have to stop. No, I am not saying like this. Wherever getting zero wattage, you have to stop up to that. Are you understand? So now March, I am started going to derive difference in odd days. You start from March. Tell me where I have to stop. Anji, July, yeah. Acha, you stop July. Tell me, three plus two five. I cannot stop. Eight, eight means one odd day. I cannot stop. Ten, three odd day. I cannot stop. Thirteen, six odd day. I cannot stop. Yeah, where tell me where I have to stop. I have to stop up to October. Why? How many odd days? Twenty one means how many odd days? Zero odd days. Which condition satisfied? If I stop up to October, which two months I am going to compare? March with November. Tell me March how many days? November how many days? Compared to 30 here, one day extra. So entire two months not having same calendar. That means up to how many days same calendar? Which two months now having say up to 30 days same calendar? March and November. Take that. In 2014. Understood or not understood? Tommy, sir, you yourself uh, come and teaching, uh, then you yourself leave. We don't know what is happening. Is it like this? Yes. Any doubt? Boss, are you understand? Right. Are you not well? Right. Okay. Yes. In my class, always be happy. You see, in this age, how I am happy? Uh, yes. Yes. All are getting? Getting this? All are able to realize what you are saying? Why I am asking you to see? You will never forget. Understood. Listen now, Kev. Now, I am going to compare January month with some other month. Tell me where I have to stop. Anji? September. I have to stop up to September. Why you are stopping up to September? Zero or this. Which condition satisfied? So if I stop up to September, I am going to compare which two months? January and October. Tell me, second condition satisfied or not? January, how many days? 30. September, sorry, October, how many days? Second condition also satisfied. That means for any ordinary year, four must be same calendar. If you take remaining any two months, you are unable to satisfy both the conditions. Next, I will say, tell you more, some more uh, example also. All are understand? Compare January and October in 2014. Understood? All are understand? Understood everybody? Sir, All please Anji Bas. Sir, please repeat. Please repeat it. All are understood? Mm -hmm. What do you want to repeat it? Sir, my video got stuck again. Is it only your video stuck or everybody's video? Sir, mine also. Mine, mine also, also got, got stuck. stuck sir. I think somebody is sending Pegasus in my class right now. Yes, yes. So I will catch the person. I'll leave it. Now tell me. So uh, online people, boss. So I am going to compare starting from January. Where I have to stop? Up to September. Why? I am getting zero on this. So three, three plus zero, three is not zero. I cannot stop up to here. Six, not zero. Then eight, not zero on this. Then 11, not the 13, no. 16, 19, 21, yes, zero on this. That means I have to stop up to September. Understood online people? You, that means zero odd days I am getting. That means the first condition already satisfied now. If I am stopping up to September, I am going to compare January with October month. That means I am comparing January and October. January 31 days, October 31 days, second condition also satisfied. That means for any ordinary year, only January and October must be same calendar. Understood online people? Totally silent, everybody. I'm murdering everybody. Online, understood? Yes, understood sir. Sir. First, you people, why you are not getting, uh, why you are uh, stuck in video? Because nobody coming in uh, video. I'm unable to see any photo. Because male teacher, female teacher means everybody come in video. Tomorrow, I will come with, uh, uh, what is that? Patan movie, Dibiga Padagun dress. Imagine that. Uh, yes, sir. So, come in video, everybody. Danger people are there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All ready? Yes, boss. No, no, just joking. It's not, don't take it seriously. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. So it's a joke. Don't take it seriously. Okay, boss. Yes. Because it's a dead subject. I have to make it alive. Otherwise, na, 
are yaar what is this he himself will show the person he himself will solve why why not we don't know that is so listen now okay so january october are you able to realize it now i will come to your your answers whatever you said are you ready listen somebody said july and august all are remember that are which two month having same calendar i asked somebody said july and august are you ready so you are comparing july and august i am going to derive difference in not this if i include july i have to exclude august i totally silent eh? tell me first july mm -hmm. so first july up to 31st july tell me how many days are there how many days are there 31 means how many odd days three odd days what is what we required that means if first condition itself is not satisfied, none of the days are going to be same day. Check that. July, August. Any one date is same day? No. Are you understood or not understood this class? All are understand this? All are understand. Because that means first condition is mandatory. If you satisfy both the condition, entire two months having same calendar. You satisfied first condition, I will dictate it, don't worry. You satisfied first condition, second condition not satisfied, up to some day same calendar. If not satisfying first condition, that means none of the days going to be second, same calendar. If first condition itself not satisfied, second condition satisfied or not satisfied, I don't care. First condition not satisfied means none of the days going to be same calendar. All are understood. All are getting? All are getting? Boss, all are getting? Somebody said, sir, February and March. If I am comparing February with March, Sorry. Comparing February and March, while deriving the difference in odd days, if I include February, I have to exclude March. Understood this. Now, look. First February up to, I am stopping up to February. 28 February. How many days are there? 28 means how many odd days? Which condition satisfied? First condition satisfied. Understood this part? What is second condition? Number of days must be equal. February, how many days? Sir? March, how many days? Sir? Second condition not satisfied. So, entire February and March cannot be same calendar. But up to how many days same calendar? Up, comparing to month, whichever month having less number of days, that many days are going to be same calendar. All are understood, not understood. Somebody said January, December. Are you understand? I am starting from January. If I am comparing with December, I have to stop up to November. Tell me up to number, are you getting zero or days or not? No. That means I cannot compare January with December because first condition itself is not satisfied. None of the days going to be same day. Are you understand this? Now, start from February. Don't stop up to February and further continue. Wherever getting zero or days, stop up to that. Tell me. Don't stop up to February. Further continue, further ahead. Where I have to stop? Up to October. Why you are stopping up to October? Zero or day. Which condition satisfied? First condition. If I stop up to October, which two months I am going to compare? February with November. Second condition satisfied or not? No. So entire two months not having same calendar? Up to how many days going to be same calendar? 28. Check that. 2014. February with November. Getting? Are you able to realize it? Realize it? Realize it? All right. Next. I am start, I'm starting from May. That means I am going to compare May with some other. Tell me where I have to start. Wherever you like, you start, you start, you start. Aji? December. December. Why I have to stop up to December? Zero. Are you understood this box? So, which condition satisfied? First condition satisfied. If I am stopping up to December, which two months I am going to compare? Yes, this year May with next year January. So, it goes to next year. No problem. Consider next year January. Are you understand? So now tell me, second condition satisfied or not? May with January. Yes, satisfied. That means this year May and next year January must be same calendar. 
you started traveling from which month may you are going towards next year january are you cross via february sir why you are asking february because of 14th february no leap year effect is there or you started traveling from this year may you are going to next year january you are not to cross the any february that means irrespective of this year may is ordinary or leap year next year january is ordinary or leap year this year may and next year january must be same calendar are you understand see, see the calendar in your uh, telegram 2012 may is there compare 2012 may with 2013 january are you understood this compare 2013 may with 2014th january do now come to come back to 2012 don't compare 2000 sir i apologize compare 2013 may Listen carefully. What somebody will do, sir? This year May, next year January, same calendar. 2013 May with 2000. Uh, I apologize. Hang over again. 2013 May with 2014 January, same calendar or not, sir? And 2014 is ordinary year, so January and October must be same calendar. That means can I compare 2013 May with 2014 October? Are you understand my language? You see that two thousand thirteen May with the two thousand fourteen October. But don't compare now because you are crossing via February. Are you understand? But it is same calendar. But I will I will later on generalize it. Are you understood? Not understood? All are understand? Now roughly you can write what some four or five example. Later on I will dictate it. Just note down the example. January October. Please note down this example: January, October. Because some student will ask her half an hour why you are murdering us. Will ask like that for that only I am saying. January, October. Next example: February, March. Next: February, November. Next: March, November. Next. April July next September December don't think about now may may and january that later on i will dictate it okay now tell me first example what you wrote which which condition satisfied what are those conditions both satisfied you see remaining example how many conditions satisfied remaining example how many conditions satisfied No condition satisfied. Are you for February March? First condition satisfied. Second condition not satisfied. Are you understood? Not understood. So remaining all the example. First condition satisfied. Second condition not satisfied. That means up to some day same calendar. Totally silent. Tell me what is second example you wrote. Tell me how many days going to be same calendar. Twenty eight. Third example. Third is March November. No. February November. Understood this. How many days going to be same calendar? Twenty-eight. Next example. March November. Tell me how many days going to be same calendar? Thirty. Which over the month having less number of days? That many days going to be same calendar? Are you understood or not understood? Now before I think page number two. In that file page number two. Question number twenty-six. Page number two. Question number twenty-six. Anybody read? Either you read or I will say the question. Read anybody? Ah. No, no, no. I apologize, sir. Twenty-fourth question. You, you, your eyes reading, not your mind reading. Allow your mind to realize. So read. The day on fifth March. Okay, then is the same day. Now that means fifth March and some other day must be same day. So reference is March month is given. In generalization, whatever right, March with which month having same calendar? That means fifth March and fifth November must be same. Are you understood or not understood? Sir, I am not happy. Okay, fifth March is there. Okay, boss. What is the option A? Fifth of August. If you derive number of odd days, you will not get zero only. How to derive? I will teach you after half an hour. Understood this, boss? 
what is our next option 5th october 5th march with 5th october if you derive the number of what days you will not get zero only what is option d so 5th march and 5th december if you derive the number of what days difference you will not get zero only are you understood or not understood now which if this comes under general this march with november up to how many days same calendar march and november okay up to 30 days same calendar the up to 30 days same calendar means if 5th march and 5th november must be same day are you understood or not understood so no need of calculation otherwise what you will do you will derive the difference in our days every option you have to check it based upon that the same approach in 2020 question if you know the leap year generalization by seeing the question you can take the answer first can i attempt can i solve this question or not you cannot decide generalization only will decide are you understood or not understood okay silent all are understand this so whatever this example related to all this i will dictate so don't worry understood this boss anybody doubt so far the first generalization what is first generalization first day of the year and last day of the year must be same day what is second generalization first day of the year or why am why am not writing here and why am writing here or because first day and last day must be same day so first day of the year or last day of the year repeated for 53 times remaining other day repeated for 52 times all are understood this boss next generalization which of the entire two month having same calendar if you satisfy this two condition entire two month having same calendar you are satisfying first condition second condition not satisfied up to some day same calendar first condition itself not satisfied second satisfied or not satisfied i don't care none of the days going to be same day so for any ordinary year only january and october must be what same calendar are you understood or not understood? if you take remaining any two month it never satisfy both the condition anybody doubt now sir why we need zero one day why not other other than zero one day you will ask like that so january and october difference is how many odd days difference how many odd days zero odd days okay boss now listen again if first january is tuesday then first october must be what day tuesday plus zero same tuesday if 30th january is wednesday then 30th october must be wednesday plus zero same wednesday if it is not a zero odd day for example one odd day for example first january is monday first october must be monday plus one it becomes tuesday you will not get the same day if you need the same day you must require the difference is zero or day all are understood or not understood all are understand sir why we need a equal number of days if you are going to compare any two things they must be in equal strength then only comparison is meaningful we can compare saminathan and trump but comparison is not meaningful is a rich person can we compare indian economy with the pakistan economy no we can compare but comparison is not meaningful are you understand we can compare our economy with brazil south africa understood this but russia we can compare them with them understand we cannot compare with pakistan sri lanka like that are you understood this but can we compare swaminathan running speed with usain bolt running speed we cannot compare because swaminathan is faster than the usain bolt night time understand <laughs> so if you are going to compare any two month they must be in equal strength then only comparison is meaningful now tell me can i compare february march no not equal number of days july august yes but the first condition not satisfied all are understood not understood anybody doubt anybody any amadmi all are understood what i am saying right next listen very carefully whatever i am teaching it is upsc copied and ask 2019 one upsc question january how many days are there 31 days means how many weeks how many remainder divided by 7 four complete weeks what is the remainder 3 that 3 is called what odd day are you understood or not now for example if uh, first january is for example wednesday understand so week start first week take the first week so started from where wednesday if your week start from wednesday when that week will end tuesday are you understood not understand this first week wednesday to tuesday next week 
when it's ready to next week total how many weeks are there so i have tried to four times sir so next week when is ready to tuesday next week when is ready to tuesday now i am in which week fourth week i am in fourth week now understood this part when is ready to tuesday four weeks over after that how many extra days are there what are those three extra days after tuesday what are those three days wednesday thursday friday are you understood not understood all are understand this now listen very carefully in one week how many times wednesday four times means i will i will hit my head in the wall so in one week how many times wednesday five times i will jump from the wedding right to your name are yaar in one week how many times wednesday <laughs> One, one time. time in four weeks how many times but here extra one more time so wednesday how many times in this ex in this month example five. five times understood this thursday one week one time four weeks four times but here one more time thursday total how many times thursday in this month five times friday one week one time four weeks four times plus here one more time total how many times friday five times saturday one week one time four weeks Any extra Saturday here? Saturday how many times? Sir? Four times in this month. Sunday, times. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. Tell me which are five times here? Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How many times? Sir? Remaining other day. Remaining other day. How many times? Sir? Four times. Understood. That means whichever comes extra. That is going to be five times. How do you understand this? So how many days extra? How many days extra here? That means in the month of January, three days going to be five times. Are you understand what I am saying, boss? What are those three days? You will ask like that. Month will start from where? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That three days five times. So remaining other day four times. Are you understood or not? All are understood what I am saying. Allah understood this part. Totally silent, eh? No, somebody crying. Listen, online people, no sound, eh? January. How many days? Eh? Next time we'll try to every 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 month. Don't worry. So how many weeks are there? What is the reminder? Three years. Are you understand? Attention, my language. So in one week, every day, one time. In four weeks, every day, how many times? Are you understood or not understand? This three say extra one time. Are you understand? What are those three days? Sir? Are you understand? Now tell me. If first January is Saturday, tell me which are five times in this example. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Remaining other day. All are understood. Not all are understand. Now further, I am saying. I am reducing the information. Listen carefully. January. How many days? Thirty-one. So how many weeks are there? Four weeks plus three hours. Now tell me, in the month of January, how many days going five times? Answer my question. In in the month of January, how many days going to be five times? Three days. What are those three days? We don't know because start first day not given. Are you understood? Not understood. It's not given. Okay, where that three days going to be located? Are you understood this, boss? Open your calendar, Telegram. January two thousand fourteen. What is first January? Now tell me which are five times? Wednesday, because January means thirty one, four weeks, three odd. So in the month of January, three days going to be five times. What are those three days? Month started from where? Wednesday. Tell me which are five times, sir? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Remaining other day. You check that. Are you able to visualize it? Tell me where this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday located. First three days of the month or last three days of the month. In between is there. But for generalization, I am saying first three days of the month are what? Last three days of the month. You see that? Are you understand? That means which is this five time? Which is this three days extra five extra one time? This three days total five times in that month. 
where that three days located either first or second or third or 29th or 30th or what 31 this day is going to be what five times understood or not understood in between is there for generalization i am saying all are understood is now are you ready now now tell me in the month of april how many days are there 30 days means how many weeks how many odd days that means in the month of april how many days going to be five times two days are you understand what are those two days we don't know for example if i am writing first april is saturday tell me which are five times saturday and sunday only five times remaining other day where the saturday and sunday located first two day or first two day means first april or second april 29th april or 30th april are you understood or not understood because if you know first or last every seven seven days same day why every seven seven days same day seven days means zero or day add seven days same day add seven days that is why i am saying first and last remaining we can extrapolate it are you understood or not understood now tell me in the month of may how many days going to be five times Three days going to be five times. What are those three days? I will jump from the building. That means where it is located. First or second or third or last means what? 29 or 30 or? Are you understood or not? First three days or last three days? Are you understood or not? Both are same only. Are you understand this boss? Come to uh, ordinary year February. Because we are teaching February. How many days? Tell me how many weeks? What is the reminder? Tell me, in ordinary year February, how many days going to be five times, sir? Zero. That means in ordinary year February, every day must be how many times only? All are understood. All are understand? All are understand? Next. You see here. In every month, minimum how many weeks are that? That means in every, in every ordinary year and in every month, every day must be minimum four times maximum five times except to no ordinary year february why in ordinary year february 28 days four weeks is zero what day every day must be how many times sir four times only all are understand in in any month any day never be more than five times never be less than four times are you understood not understood Listen, everything. Otherwise, nowadays, uh, statement-based questions are more. You need clarity in concept. That is why otherwise we can display the question type 1, type 2, topic over. Understood this, boss? So, anybody doubt so far? Sir, why you are murdering us with this? You will ask like that? No, I will ask. So, Parnidhi Chopra, my girlfriend. Born in the... Anji. The cheater, chadda cheated me. Listen, boss. So, Parnidhi Chopra, born in the month of... Getting this boss? And she born on uh, Friday, auspicious day. And in the month of May, five times Friday. Question says, are you understood or not understood this boss? She born on which month? May month. Which day? In that month, how many times Friday? Tell me which Friday she born? You are not understanding. Which Friday? First Friday, wa, second Friday, wa, third Friday, wa, fourth, fifth, fifth, we don't. Are you understood or not understood? Now I am changing the information. Listen carefully. So, Parnidhi Chopra, born in the month of May, and she born on Friday. Okay, boss. And Friday, five times in that month. Are you understood or not understood? Understand this? One more point I have to say. If anything going to be five times, sir, that is going to be in the extra here. Are you understood or not understood this boss? Come to it. Now, five times. If she born on first Friday, if wording is very important. If she born on first Friday, which date is possible? Listen, open your telegram. 2014 calendar. January is there. January, listen now, uh, January 31, four weeks, three odd days. Three days going to be five times, remaining other day four times. What are those three days? What is starting January? 
So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that is going to be five times, remaining other day four times. That means whichever repeated five times, that has to be first three day or last three day. Now tell me, here which is five times? And Friday, and that means Friday must be where initial first three days, any one of the day or last three days, any one of the day. That means first to Friday she born means what date is possible? Either first May is Friday. Or second May is Friday. Or third May is Friday. In this three date, any one of the date she born. Understood or not understood? Based upon this, UPSC asked the question. Understood this part. Well, yeah, Mr. X having three children. Well, first child born in the month of April and second Monday. Like that. Are you understood? It's like that they ask. Later on, while solving the question, you yourself knows. If the question asked, fifth Friday, tell me which date she born possible. Fifth Friday means last Friday. That means what is possible date? 29th May is Friday or 30th May is Friday or 31st May is Friday. Are you understood or not understood? Anybody doubt? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, anybody? Understood? Question says like this. If she born on second Friday, so first Friday has to be either one or two or three. Second Friday means add seven, seven days. Seven days add what? Eight. Either eighth May is Friday or ninth May is Friday or tenth May is Friday. Understood or not understood? Are you understood or not understood? If she born on third Friday, are you understand me? Third Friday means uh, total how many weeks are crossed? After two weeks crossed, so 14 days crossed. Add 14. 15th May is Friday or 16th May is Friday or 17th May. Are you understood or not? All are understood or not understood. So if she born on fourth Friday, fourth Friday means either if you travel from the beginning, it's lengthy method, coming from back, Subtract to 7. What do you will get? 22nd. Now tell me, what is 4th Friday possible? 22nd May is Friday or 23rd May is Friday or are you understood? Anybody? Anybody? Any Ahmadmi? Any Ahmadmi? Right. Okay. Next lesson. Last generalization. Oh, is it clock running very fast? Now only I started the class. <clears throat> Allah understood, I am murdering everybody. Uh, achha. Alive, right? Then happy. <coughs> you. Tenth January two thousand twenty three is Monday. Okay, master. Then tenth, you can take it either tenth or you can take it. Any data. For example, seventeenth May two thousand twenty three. Are you understand? Are you remember while teaching odd days? You know how to derive the odd days if weeks are given. You know how to derive the odd days if days are given. I told you later on I will teach you if month is given how to derive the artist. Are you remember that? In two ways we can do it. Are you ready? Attention. The first method. Including date and are you understand this? So consider using month also, date also, we can derive. Are you understand this? Now tell me. So 10th January is what day? Monday. We will see here. Now the question asked, it may be same or it may be different. Are you understand this part? Sir, if years are different, we will see an example. Understood this part? Now, using this example, I am teaching how to derive the odd days if month are given. That only I am teaching here. Are you understood or not understood? Listen now carefully. So, what is asked in the question? May month is asked. So, February, then full, March full, April, then what? 
May what date is asked? Seventeenth. Are you understand this? You know this is Monday. Are you understand this? To reach here, I have to derive the odd days. But I have to derive the difference in odd days to simplify the calculation. While deriving the difference, if you include starting, you must exclude ending. Or exclude starting, include ending. Anyone you have to do that? Are you understood this part? So generally, I am taking include starting and exclude ending. Are you understood? So in deriving in the difference in odd days, I am including 10th, 10th January, excluding 17th May. That means I stop up to 16, 16th May. Are you understood or not? Understood? Uh, or exclude 10th January, start from 11th January, stop up to 17th May. If you derive the difference in order, both are same value. Are you understood or not understood? This part? All are understand? Listen, boss. Total January, how many days are there? Out of 31, you are in what data? Remaining how many days to finish January? Remaining 21 days are there. In 21, 10th January not included. So I have to include it. Total now it becomes how much? 22 days. It is also part of that. Uh, tell me how many odd days in 22? One now. Are you understand? February, ordinary year. How many odd days? Sorry, how many days? How many odd days? So next onwards, I won't write it like this. Then March full month. How many odd days? Three. April full month. Two odd days. Now tell me, where I have to stop? 16th. So in 16th, up to 16th, how many odd days are there? One minute. Two odd days. Total how many odd days? Total how much? Four, six, eight odd days. Eight odd days means how many odd days? One odd day. One odd day means Monday plus one. What is your answer? Tuesday is the answer. Are you understand this? That means 10th January 2023 is what a Monday. Then 17th May 2023 is year 1. So difference is how many odd days? 1. So what is the answer? Are you understood? Are you understand? Come to second method. So what I written? 10th January 2023 is what day? Monday. What is asked? 17th May 2000. Oh. Achha. 2023 is what? This is asked in the question. What is the second method? Consider only money. Why? I will tell you. Are you understood this boss? Tell which two months we are comparing? January and May. I am comparing eh? one February, March, April, May. I am comparing. Consider only the month. I am comparing January and May. Now I am going to derive the difference. If I include starting, I must exclude ending. I have to stop up to which month? April. Tell me. January full. How many odd days? Three odd days. So February full. Ordinary year, you know. March. April, total how many odd days? Eight odd days. That means how many odd days? What is the meaning of one odd day? Month January and May must be one day difference. Are you understood or not understand this, boss? Now, uh, listen. Boy. Now, what is given in the question? 10th January 2023 is what day? Monday. I am going to May, same 10th May. So, 10th May 2023. Now, January and May must be how many days gap? One day. So, plus one. What do you will get? That is 10th May is what day? Every 7th, seven, 7th seven day, same day? Add 7th. What is that? 17th May is what day? That is the end. Are you understood or not understood? If you solve by considering date also, while deriving the difference, you mistakenly include starting also ending also. Are you understood or not understood this bar? Allah understand. But if you consider only the month, that problem you will not face. Are you understand? Either you can interpret like this or you can interpret like this. Understood or not understood. If month are given, then how can you derive the odd days? Are you, that is, for example, January, May. So what is the gap between January and May? Difference how many days? 
how many odd days one odd day so january and may must be one day gap take 2014 2014 what is uh, uh, 7th january 2014 tuesday so what is 7th may tuesday plus 1 it becomes wednesday you see that are you realized what is 27th may tuesday what is 27th january minus 1 that means this not only one this is plus or minus 1 are you understood or not? If you are in one date in January, going to same date in May, plus one. If you are in one date in May, going back to same date in January within the year, then minus one. Are you understood or not? All are understand? Understood this, boss? Now tell me, January and March. Right? How many difference in artists? January, March. January, March. Don't see the calendar and decide. Calculate January with March. Difference is how many odd days? Three or four? Ah? Three. Are you understand? January three. Take whole. If you solve considering month, take the whole month. Don't consider the date. January three, February. But you have to ask me ordinary leap year. No issue. Ordinary year zero. That's you have to stop up to February only. So three odd days. So January and March must be three days difference. That means plus or minus three. Are you understand my language? Understand? Now tell me. What is uh, 10th January 2014? 10th January 2014. Friday. What is 10th March 2014? Plus 3. 5 plus 3, 80. 8 means one not day. That is Monday. Are you understood or not? Understood? Are you understand me? What is 30th March 2014? Anji? Sunday means 0 or 7. What is 30th January? Minus 3. What is the answer? Thursday. All are understood. Right? All are understand. Now tell me one more example. <clears throat> March with October. March, October. Tell me difference in odd days. March month with October month. March month with October month. Andy? March and October is for us. So don't do mentally. If I am asking to write it, one reason is there. Somebody mentally calculating saying the answer. If I going to next question, you compare previous question with this question. You don't know what are the previous questions. Understood. Whatever I will say, but tell, calculate this. Don't calculate mentally. Note down, then calculate mentally. And how many are this? Plus R minus 4. Are plus R minus 4. Eh? Why? If you are in one date in March, going to same date in October plus 4. You are one date in October, the same date in March minus 4. Are you understood or not understood? Now tell me, what is 25th October in 2014? Saturday means 6th day. What is 25th March? Anji, and are you understand? So what you done? How much you subtracted? What is 25th October? You said Saturday means six. What is 25th March? Minus four to Tuesday. Is there or not? All are understood. Not understand. If month is there, how to derive the answer? Are you understand this boss? Are you understand? Now you if num days are given, you know how to derive the odd days. How divided by seven reminder is your odd day. If weeks are there, how to derive the odd days? Convert into days, then divided by 7 reminder is odd days. If it is month, a month is given, how to derive the odd days? Now you know that. Tell me so far, what are the example I wrote in month wise? Which month, which month we compared? January and May. Next, which month I asked you to solve? January and March. Another example. March with October. Tell me, what is the common in all these examples? Whatever the two months I given, number of days are equal. January 31, May 31. January 31, March 31. 
March 31, October 31. Are you understood or not understand? Whatever it is. So far, we compared two months having equal number of days. Now tell me. April with October. April with October. Tell me how many are days. April month with October month. Achha, we will see. Anji? Right. Are you getting one not day? Attention my language. So here, I am comparing January with March. If I include starting, exclude ending, I have to stop up to which month? So how many odd days? Here. Yeah. So how many odd days? That means you know what is the meaning of plus or minus 3. Are you understand this? Yes. But I told you while deriving difference, if you include starting, exclude ending. Ah, attention my language. Exclude starting, include ending. Tell me, March, how many odd days are there? 3. February, 0. How many odd days? Again, 3 odd days. You see. That means if you are comparing any two months having equal number of days, while deriving the difference, if you include starting and exclude ending, or exclude starting, include and ending, difference in odd days must be same. Now, what I ask you to calculate? April with October. So how you, you said one odd day difference. How do you derive it? Starting is included, ending is excluded. Huh? Or ending is excluded, starting is included. Which way you derived it? Starting is included, ending is excluded. Now you tell me how many odd days. Starting is excluded and the ending is included. Tell me. Are you understand what I am asking? Uh, solve this. Same thing. In the side you can write. You see on the side I wrote. Two days. So here... Uh, yeah, yeah. Starting is not included, ending is included. Now tell me how many odd days. Now both are different. So, sir, now I can use which, which odd days. You will ask like this. Are you understand? So while deriving the difference, always include starting and exclude ending. Whatever answer you will get to plus or minus. If you exclude starting, include ending. One more calculation you have to do, adjust this to get the one odd day. That means uh, I will write this. So if I am comparing it, mm -hmm. all are understood. I myself I am teaching. So how I am getting sixteen odd days, two odd days, but why you are saying it is the one odd day? Where I included? Uh, September, I have tried to. Uh, yes. Which brand I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, joke only. Don't take it serious. Understand this? Listen. Three. Two. Three. Three. Two. Three. How much? Sixteen means how many are there? Are you understand? Now you see both are different. Are you understand? Yes. So while deriving odd days, uh, generally you prefer include starting and exclude ending. Otherwise, one more classification I have to teach uh, how to adjust. Waste of time. But that is not required. You understood or not understood this part. If it is month are there or date is there, always include starting and exclude ending. You will get the answer. Understood or not understood. All are understood this part. Irrespective of uh, you are comparing it. Two months having same number of days or different number of days. I don't care. If while deriving the difference in odd days, include starting and exclude ending and generalize plus or minus. Understood and not understood. All are understood this bar. So these are the five generalization in ordinary. Are you understood or not understood? But write something. Write. First, first generalization. Online people all are understood. If I am going faster, please tell me. Because once engine heated, then very difficult to speak. Uh, yes. Ready? First, first point. These two conditions. These two. Right? I will tell you what is this. These two conditions. After this, write like this. You understand this? Third generalization, first and second. 
difference in odd days must be zero. Number of days of those two months must be equal. Are you understood this boss? These two conditions satisfied. Entire two month having same calendar. Are you understood me like these two condition bracket you write like this. Are you understand this? If these two conditions satisfied, entire two month having same calendar. If these two, uh, next time I'm not saying only first only. If these two conditions satisfied, entire these two means which two you will ask? That's why I am writing in the board. If these two con these two conditions satisfied, entire two month having same calendar. Understood? Don't merely write. You have to feel what you write. Any doubt in this? Otherwise, after sitting, sitting in home, then you revise it. Now you take some time. The way you feel in the class, then in house you will take less time to revise what I taught. Next time, if only if, if only first condition, only first condition, right like this. After that, bracket like this. You see here. If only first condition satisfied, what is that only first condition? Raw matter three first. Only first condition satisfied. Understand this? What is the meaning of only first condition satisfied? What about second? I, if I use the word first condition satisfied, that means second may or may not be satisfied. But I use the word what? Only first condition satisfied. What does that mean? Only first. You are repeating what I am saying. I would tell you people you are. That means the second condition not satisfied. That means right in bracket, Roma letter, this three, second, not satisfied, bracket close. Are you understood or not understood this one? Are you understand what I am saying? How dangerous people are there? Okay. So these are all in bracket, whatever writing in bracket, I will not say again one more time. Are you understand? It, I will make it silent. Now I am repeating, second condition. If only first condition satisfied, up to some day, same calendar. Understood this? All are understand? So what happened last year? Last year I was busy in Bangalore here, there classes, some, some batches I am unable to finish the way I want to finish it. Some students, they will not write the class notes. Some students will write the class notes, but they never opened. And after some month, now in their WhatsApp group, they are solving the question by traditional method. That means whatever I taught, everything is evaporated. Are you understood or not understood? That means whatever the time you spend at that time, Whatever the money you spend at that time, whatever the energy spent, everything wasted. So, consistent preparation. Understood? If you leave some days in any subject, you are losing your rhythm. Are you understood this bus? Daily, whatever possible, whatever the way possible, the more you alone, then you have more time to speak to yourself. Otherwise, you cannot realize who you are. Otherwise, sir, fifth attempt qualifies as preliminary. Seventh attempt, sir. What is the main in that? That means either you are not realizing your mistake, otherwise you realized not remembering your mistake. Are you understood this? Allah understand. So consistent preparation daily, sitting in bathroom. So what what is the assumption sir said in blood relation? Oh, like this, like this. Uh, oh, uh, while taking king fisher, what sir said in the calendar? Oh, these are the generalization, like this, like this. So where we are sitting is not important. Are we doing our activity or not? Understood this, boss. So daily prepare. I understood. If you are not writing, taking notes, uh, after one month or if you leave some gap, you shifted to other subject, uh, you will forget. Understood this, boss. Right. Third point. Take the notes properly. So what's the third point? If uh, first condition, if first condition, Right like this. First condition bracket like this. First condition it's not satisfied. First condition itself not satisfied. Up up to there. Listen. Then what about second condition? May or may not be. Bracket write Roman letter three. May or may not be satisfied. Then you see here how I am writing. So may or may not satisfied. I don't care. Are you understood or not? First condition itself not satisfied, none of the days is going to be same calendar. None of the days is going to be 
सेम क्या लग रहा है अंडरस्टैंड है नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑनलाइन पीपल अंडरस्टैंड आर यू देयर आर डेड एवरीबॉडी somebody taking king fisher and listen my class i think i am unable to find the people yes, yes. next point all ready ready right entire two month having same calendar means entire two month having same calendar means only one answer entire two month having same calendar means only one answer what is that answer what is that answer entire two month same calendar january october because i am i am teaching everything ordinary tomorrow class leap year and one more that's all then we can attack the person what is the example january october so what is the previous example you wrote previous previous point first condition itself tell me example first condition not satisfied example july august are you remember or not remember all remember or not remember tell me second condition second point or any example first condition satisfied second condition not satisfied any example february month many example one example you will write are you understood or not understood this first okay right now come to fifth point up to some day same calendar means up to some day same calendar means up to some day same calendar means more than one answer up to some day same calendar means more than one answer including january october including january october do you understand what you wrote here this point up to uh, if entire month having same calendar means for january october entire month same calendar automatically first 15 days same calendar first 20 days same calendar first 29 days same calendar some days must be same calendar are you understood not understood that's why i'm including what uh, january october are you understand that word now whatever example i am going to say don't write in horizontal write in if this is your page so this is the page write whatever example here why tomorrow's class no need of writing separately for leap year i will give the list of example then i will see comparing this to so we can generalize something are you understood what i am saying so write example one by one whatever i will say first january october february march next february november next march november next april yes april july april july next september december under not under you know first example how many conditions satisfied you know remaining example how many conditions satisfied up to what day same calendar you know already all are understand this next point in in every ordinary year in every ordinary year in every ordinary year and in every month in every ordinary year and in every month every day must be every day must be minimum four times and maximum five times except what except ordinary year february all are understood why exception of ordinary year february 28 days four weeks zero one day are you understood what i am saying boss all are understand this last point right right like this this year bracket ordinary or leap year may this year bracket ordinary you see the board ordinary or leap year bracket may may month and next year bracket ordinary or leap year january must be same calendar understood this that 
that solve generalization in ordinary. Understood this? Anybody doubt? Anybody? Anybody? What is time now? That's it. So, yes. So, any Amatmi having doubt? Yeah, all are silent. Are you feeling hungry or sleepy? Achaji, right. So, any doubt so far? Whenever you have the time, you teach others. I am not satisfied. Some student will say, oh, your roommate or something. I am not satisfied in this topic. If he's saying or not saying, if you know that you drag the person, now you sit and teach them. If you teach, na, then you know who you are. Then the person will ask the doubt. Then you know how do you study. Understand? You never forget. I started initially uh, taking tuition for school children in my village. That is why I'm still I am teaching like a tuition teacher. Understood this person. So teach others, you will never forget. In initial days, uh, days I will I will come with some notes or something. In other subject also or something. I will I will open it. I will teach like that. Ah, one minute I forgot like this. I will say ah yes like that. But now whatever subject I will teach, I will not come with any book or anything. I am bigger person. No, keep on teaching. That means subconscious mind remember. Are you understood this one? That is why if you go to yoga program. They will say, you have to do this at least for one mandala. Why? Your subconscious mind will remember. And you understand this, boss? Right. Now, I am. can I take another five to ten, five minutes? Then. So, you, what time you have, GS? Five o'clock, right? I will not take five o'clock, don't worry. Leap year. All already? For any leap year. How many days are there? 366 days are there. Divided by 7, five, I am going to derive the number of what this. 5 times 35, balance 1, 2 times 52 complete weeks. What is the reminder? That means for any leap year, how many odd days? 2 odd days. Are you understood or not understand? For any leap year, how many odd days? 2 odd days. Tommy, sir, stop. What is the ordinary means? How many? I apologize, sir. What is the difference between ordinary and leap year? Why you are writing two days? You will ask, sir, yesterday night, which brand? Ordinary year means how many odd days? One odd day. Leap year means it will create one extra odd day. One plus one, that is two. That means ordinary year, one odd day is already part of two. Are you understand? Ordinary year, how many odd days? One odd day. Leap year, how many odd days? Compared to ordinary year, leap year creating how many extra odd day? One, all are under. All are under the language. Because of that one day increasing, first day and last day never be same. That means uh, first day of the year and last day of the year never be same day, one day increasing. Are you understand this? For example, if a year starts on Saturday, leap year, when that leap year will end, not Saturday, when Sunday. Why second part? Are you understand this? If a year start on Tuesday, the end on Tuesday, what does it mean? Ordinary. If a year start on Sunday, does not end on Sunday, what does it mean? When it will end? Monday. Are you understood or not? Are you understand? So we can stop the class up to here. Because second point, I have tried some more things. So before coming to tomorrow's class, Revise properly. Not only your eyes revise, allow your mind to revise it. Understood this one? Enjoy the remaining day. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Yes, 